everyone happy preparation day here we are again today is friday and as we continue with what shall i do to inherit eternal life today we're going on into um we're going to the table of contents this is chapter two cooperate with god in your salvation there are many different headings today we're going to deal with he draws you so we're going to see who draws amen but before we begin shall we have a short word of prayer Father in heaven, as we humbly bow before you, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we thank you and we praise you for who you are. Thank you for this preparation day. Forgive us of our sins, wash us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness, and may we completely surrender to you, O God. We surrender and we thank you. Be with our brothers and sisters who are near and far. Um, Lord, you know their needs and their condition. Bless them, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. So, we'll continue with... This is in chapter two. Um, the heading is cooperate with God in your salvation. So today is he draws you and me. Praise the Lord. No man can come to me except the father which had sent me draw him. John 6, 44. Remember, get your pen and your paper or your pencil. Or if you're taking these things down in your phone, go over these scriptures for yourself. Be a Berean. Amen. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. John 12, 32. The Lord had appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Jeremiah 31, 3. Draw me, we will run after thee. The king had brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. Will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love, the upright love thee. Song of Solomon 1 4. God is love. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be appropriation for our sins. 1 John 4, 8 to 10. Footnote, propitiation, pro, 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 oh, I stumble on this word all the time. Propitiator, I think, I, I think I'm missing this word up here, but help me out. Is a person who um, conciliates the favor of an offended person, a peacemaker, atonement. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans 8, 32. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 9. Come unto me, all he that labor and are heavenly laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke, an instrument for cooperative labor, the law of love to God and love to man. Hmm? upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart that he shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light matthew 11 28 to 30 he sent from he sent from above he took me he draw me out of many waters he delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me for they were too strong for me Second Samuel 22, 17 and 18. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 19, verse 10. I'm so grateful that he came to save us because you see, you and I, we were lost in trespasses and in sin. And I'm so glad that the Father sent his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to die for you and I. Amen. Praise God. They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Mark 2, 17. Oh, praise the Lord, because I know I'm not whole. I am in need of the physician, the great physician, Jesus Christ. When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. I thought Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms, but they know not that I healed them. I drew them with the cards of a man, with bands of love. 
And I was to them as they that take off the yoke on their jaws. Worldly demands, it says here in per, um, footnote. And I laid meat unto them. Hosea 11, 1, 3, and 4. For thus said the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day, that he is among his sheep that are scattered. So will I seek out my sheep, and will deliver them out of all places where they have been, scattered in the cloudy and dark day. Ezekiel 34, 11 and 12. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Revelation 3, 20. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean things, and I'll receive you, and I will be a father unto you. He shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. 2 Corinthians six seventeen and 18. So the Lord has called us out of this world out of the world. See, we are in the world, but we're not of the world. He has called both you and I. He said, touch not the unclean things. You want to know the unclean things? Go back in the word of God and search like a Berean and you'll see for yourself. Nobody don't have to tell you. The word of God will tell you what not to touch and what to touch. Come now and let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sin, it, sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Isaiah 1, 18. Praise the Lord. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, a little time, until the indignation be overpassed. Isaiah 26, 20. Doesn't that sound like what is going on right now? So, you know, we could go and shut ourselves in, away from what is happening out there. You see? And But you know what? We shut ourselves in with the Lord. Amen? And that is why it is such an honor for me to share these things with you every day. So, you know, you can be filled and you can also read the word of God for yourself and be fed. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the spirit that has, and the spirit and the bride says, come. And let him that hear it say, come. And let him that is a thirst, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelation seventeen twenty two. Footnote here, because this one is short today. Meditation, prayer and further study. What evidence do I have that God has been drawing me to himself? Which providence in my life experience have shown his loving care for me? Although I have offended him and I live in the land of the enemy, nature tells of his love for me. He cares when even a sparrow falls and keeps and keeps daily record of my tears and the hairs of my head. Every heartbeat sh shows he is giving me life, sun and rain, minister to my needs. Although I am unworthy, does Jesus promise that he wants me and will not cast me off as a child of his care and salvation? If I come, Place my affliction on him and cling to him as my only hope. Is Jesus my portion? Psalm 73, 25 and 26. Do I apply the above scripture promises to myself? Did Jesus die for me? He died for us all. Is he seeking me? He is. Do I trust his love and wisdom? I pray we all do. Will I choose just now to serve and be loyal to Jesus? Let us be loyal to him who lovingly draws and calls me to follow him. One second. I'm back. I just want to double check on something. Real quick, I just want to make sure um, I gave the right thing just now. A scripture I quoted. I just want to make sure it is right. One second. Hmm. 
One second. Okay, so it's backwards. The scripture that I gave that says, And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that hear it say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely, is actually Revelation 22, 17, not 17, 22, okay? So that's why I know I, I remember this scripture, so I just go to check to, to make sure it's, it's right. See, that is why when you hear something, you must always double check to make sure it is right. So it's actually Revelation 22, 17, not the other way around, not 17, 22, Okay, because even Revelation 17, it doesn't even have 22 verses, okay? It says Revelation 22, 17, the last chapter of the Bible, verse 17. So the Lord is calling us that if we are thirst, come. He is the only one that can save us. He's the only one who can quench that thirst, that desire that is in our heart. Only Jesus can. We are going through a, a time right now. You know, many things are changing around us. But you know one thing that's not changed? Jesus. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's calling both you and I to come, to repent, to serve him with all our heart, soul, mind, and body. He's knocking at our heart. Softly and tender, he's knocking. Wanting you and I to accept him. He will not force us. Because God doesn't force. But he's wooing us. He's wooing you, me, to him. I pray that you will give your life to Jesus. He's even at the door. Look what is happening around us. Don't be fooled. You see, when it seems like peace and safety, it's going to be sudden destruction, says the word of God. So let us trust in the Lord, believing in his word. Go back over these scriptures that I've shared. Um, know the word of God for yourself. Study for yourself to show yourself approved unto God. Know what you believe. And I would like to say happy preparation to everyone as we prepare for the Lord's Sabbath. You know, people always like to say, how was your Sabbath? It's not mine, it's the Lord. He said I should come to him on his holy Sabbath day. So I obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. So I do pray that you guys will have a wonderful preparation day today, Friday, and that God will bless and keep you all and that you and your family will stay safe and that you would look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. And remember, the children of God are always obedient. We follow in our master's footsteps. We want to have his character. We not only want to have the faith of G have faith in Jesus, but we want to have the faith of Jesus. Amen. So God bless you. May God keep you. May you all have a wonderful preparation day and a blessed Sabbath when it comes. Our reading will continue tomorrow, God's willing. All right. God bless you all and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. Maranatha.